there's there's some streamers where or there's some streams where you have to actually like plan and like do these things and like have no like my shit is right right my shit chat for the month it's hard but it ain't nothing compared to somebody waking up not wanting to do it you feel me like I think I think it breaks down I feel like everybody work hard if you work hard you're a hard worker but in the most case, nine to five, your average worker is just doing it just to get past a day, help their family, help the kids, and they listen to a boss. When you're a streamer and shit, it may be hard to go on and come up, but you're your own boss. You can decide when you want to come off of work, when you want to be on. And then, let's not even talk about if you become a successful streamer. At that at that point, it's like, damn. I personally, and I am a guy who works a 9 to 5. I personally think streaming is harder than a 9 to 5. And here's why. Okay, yes, if you want to break down going to a job you hate, I absolutely get that. Been there, been there. We've already had that talk. We'll have probably more of that talk later. But, you know, going to a job you hate is one thing. Going to a job you love is one thing. Having to provide for your family is one thing. But here's why I think a 9 to 5 is harder. I mean, a, a, <laughs> here's why I believe li live streaming is harder than a 9 to 5. If you're trying to get to a certain area. If you had to live stream for a paycheck, let's say you needed to feed your family with live streaming. It would be so much fucking harder to do it streaming until you made it. Imagine if live streaming was everything you had. Imagine if being a YouTuber is everything that you had. Guys, you can put in countless hours for a very long time and not get paid. The beautiful thing about a nine to five and why a lot of people do have them, even people who do stream, such as myself, a nine to five is security. You can walk away from streaming at any point and go work. Move yourself up a ladder and do what you got to do. If you're a hard worker, you're a hard worker. Just like Kai said, if you work hard, you can move up, man. I can say when I've worked in a job, I work hard, man. And I know I can move up because I know I work hard. If I really wanted to push myself as I do in every job, if I want to push myself, I will. Because when I do work a nine to five, I, I know I got a family to feed. I work a nine to five to try to be the best that I can. I can't, I'm not, I'm never going to be satisfied when I work a nine to five is just staying in the same spot. I already told y'all what my dreams are and aspirations. Regardless, you know, if this stuff doesn't work out for me in the YouTube world, I'm going to give both of them my full effort. But if, if, if life went on, I will, I want to do HR. I want to do be a VP of talent and acquisition. <laughs> that's a title that I already know I want because there's somebody that I know works that and I want to get where they are and they work happen to work where I work and I'm hoping they move up one day so I can become them. Um, and then I'll get to travel all around, you know? But my point is, that is still a guaranteed check. When you are a content creator or you are a live streamer, there's just no fucking way to guarantee that that money is going to come unless you work your ass off. Now, once the foundation is built, once you have the audience, yes, it's going to be easier to maintain it. However, it depends on, also depends on what kind of person you are. If you're a live streamer who is content with getting your little bitty checks, a live streamer will be a breeze for you. But if you're somebody who's trying to continue to push higher and higher with your live streaming and continue to uh, make strides and try to be the best live streamer ever, you have to keep coming up with new ideas every time you hop on here. I don't care what you say. And I, people really have you believe that every live streamer who gets on here and plays video games is just going to soar to the top. Very few. And you can go look at the statistics yourself. The chances of you making a living off of Twitch, uh, making a living off of Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, live streaming is like less than a percent. I mean, and when I say a living, I'm talking about you're bringing in $60,000 a year from streaming. That's making a living to me. That's enough for you to be able to pay for car insurance, health insurance, life insurance, be able to pay all your bills if you live in a certain city. 
sixty thousand wouldn't get you very far in New York. In New York, you may have to make ninety thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars in New York to live comfortably. If you live in LA, same thing. If you live in another area, yeah, sixty thousand will get you by. But can you imagine? I, I and I want you guys to really realize how many views or how many viewers or how many subs you need to make a living. TikTok has a thing that you can go to as a live streamer where you, people can sub to you, you know? And they have a whole thing that shows how much you can make a month if you have this many streamers. To make a real good living, you have to have about 5,000 people sub to you. You go out there and get 5,000 people willing to sub to you and pay money to watch you talk or watch you game or watch you entertain. You go do that. Go, You go show me another place where you can get 5,000 people to believe in you and want to watch you and pay money to watch you. That's not the same for a nine to five. A nine to five, you can go there, work, and you're guaranteed that check. And there's so many, and I understand not everywhere you can get a job, but the vast majority of the time, most people can go work somewhere, whether that be at a fast food restaurant or if they got skilled and go be an engineer, software engineers, and all this stuff. I'm not here to say that, man, live streaming is just as hard as being a cardiac surgeon. I'm not saying that at all. Because both of those, both. A uh, cardiac surgeon obviously is going to take years of schooling and a lot of money, okay, to get there. You obviously have extensive knowledge. But what I am saying, we're just talking about generalized people. We can't compare, because I can't compare a cardiac surgeon and say, man, is a cardiac surgeon, is his job harder than somebody who's um, got to work, somebody who's a live streamer and they're the very top live streamer and they got to stream eight hours a day and they got to take... You know, everything coming all along with that, all the criticism, eyes on you, getting doxxed, all that shit. There's just a different scenario. But if we just take the average people, such as myself, I think for the average person, the average person could not live stream. The average person cannot live stream. The average person can work a nine to five. The average person could not be successful live streaming. That's the difference. That's why I think live streaming within itself is harder. If you're just going to base it on, hey, if I click on a camera, is it hard to click on a camera and start live streaming? Yes. I mean, no, that's not hard. <laughs> what am I doing? Is it hard to click on a camera and start talking? No, that's easy. Everybody can do that. We have a lot of people who make that kind of content. But to make a real living, can it, is, it, is it easier to go find a job that pays $60,000 a year? Or is it easier to make $60,000 being a live streamer? I'm going to guarantee you it is much easier to be a live streamer making $60,000. There's There's far less people making that on live streaming within itself. It's just, it's just, it takes so many ideas. And I understand the physical part of it. The physical part is not hard, but the mental part of it. And you do have to keep yourself in a decent mindset and you do have to keep yourself ready to go at all times. So to make a real living off of live streaming is definitely harder because if it was easy, I, like I said, the average person can get on live streaming and make a living. But we all know the average person is never going to make any money live streaming. The average person is probably never, the average person is never going to make a living off of YouTube. The average person is not going to make a living off TikTok. And if you believe that it's so easy, you go start a live stream channel. I want you to go start a TikTok and we'll see, are you making $60,000 within a year off of TikTok? Okay, you go do it. You go give it a shot. Say, I want you to start from ground zero and then make it. If you're not already a content creator and go say, you know, I'm going to make $60,000 a year off of TikTok. And come up with all the ideas, all the strategies, and everything to get you there. Now, once again, once you have the foundation completely built, it's going to be a little bit different. But that's the same everywhere you go. That's like saying when you first get a job, oh, man, it's kind of hard to make a little bit of bread. But after you get the foundation going and you get up, moved up to another position such as supervisor, things are a little bit easier. I mean, when you first start working a job, it's hard. But once you know what to do, how to protect yourself, how to be efficient and be productive, jobs do get easier. When you first maybe walk into a McDonald's, yeah, maybe it's hard at the beginning because the money's not that great, but the job gets easier. The money does it. And I think that's where people get everything uh, confused. Your job normally gets easier the longer you do it. It's just the money won't go up the better you get sometimes. You could work really hard and get better, but you still not be, you may not be good enough to get moved up to another position. But there's the thing with live streaming is you could be working hard. It may take you a very long ass time to get it. And once you do get it, you have to maintain it. See, with live streaming, you can't just fall off the face of the earth unless you're really high up to where if you can, you only have to live stream maybe five times a month, but you're also getting revenue and you're making so much content such as Sky or someone else. They're making so much content that their content gets spread so far and so wide that people are waiting for you to live stream. 
Just like an actor, they're waiting for them to make a movie, okay? But when you're coming from that ground up, the countless hours you have to put in and think of ideas. And I can say, man, I'm, I used to live stream every single day, and I'm actually about to get back to live streaming every single day. It's going to be a little bit harder because I got to do some traveling here in about a week or two, so I'll be off for a little bit. But after that, once I get established back where I am, get everything set back up, man. We're going to be live streaming pretty much every single day. Some days I'll probably do six days a week. And sometimes I just hang out. Sometimes I don't have a topic. But to, for me, I try to come up with multiple topics. You remember what I said about legacy media that people call old media, right? Every single day, if you run a show, two-hour show, you've got to come up with topics that are going to get you through the entire show. That may be 10 topics. That's 40 topics a week. And I think I already calculated it's 12,500 topics if you do 300 shows a year. So 12,500 topics. You come up with 12,500 topics to talk about in a year and then tell me it's easy to just hop on here and do stuff. Now, is it going to be easier for some people? Yes. There are going to be some people who are really gifted at what they already do. They already have skills and talents. So they may succeed a little bit faster than you. Or they got more time because they don't have kids or a family. They're, that's just the way the world fucking works, man. I know everybody always talk about, well, I ain't got the time and I ain't got this and I ain't got that. Dude, everybody, for the vast majority of the time, there is always a disadvantage in some way or some form. I just don't, even when I, even working at nine to five, sometimes I can work harder than somebody because look, I, I got more time on my hands. I don't have any kids. I'm just a married man and I can, I have all the time in the world to really put into my craft. But if you're a person who got, who had kids young, you got five kids, something happened. Now you're a single mother or you're a single father. Yes, you're going to have less time. And that's just the that's just the way the world works, man. There are always going to be disadvantages when you come into a job or live streaming and everything. Complaining and all that shit doesn't really get you anywhere. At the end of the day, you're just going to either have to figure it out or shut the fuck up. I know that really sucks to hear, but it's just a part of everybody's life. And not everybody's going to make it. We all have consequences. There's shit that I've done in my life where I will never get to succeed in certain areas ever again. The door is shut closed. I fucked up that opportunity. It's not coming back to me. It sucks. You know, it sucks. I was living, you know, being in college and being in honors college and all this other shit. I'm never going to get that back. I made a mistake. It's done. But whatever, whatever my disadvantage was, whatever my feelings were at that time, I got to move the fuck on and I got to make the best of what I can do from here. And that's what also comes to live streaming and content creation. If you want to do it, you got to take your situation and say, well, I might not be able to go as far as this individual or I'm not, I might not get where they are. But how far can I get with my current situation? If you really want it like that, if you don't, then don't even worry about it. Do the best you can at your job. But if you're going to come to content creation and you're going to come to live streaming, you really got no choice but to be like, fuck it. I just got to push as far as I can and go as hard as I can. Me. So I, so I live stream at this time every single time I can. I can't always live stream at this time because of my job. So I had to do what? Make adjustments. And now I'm making another adjustment because live streaming to me is so important. I'm going to get a job that allows me to live stream every night. OK, except for nights I don't want to or I feel like I need a mental break. But that's always that's but that also means that my day doesn't end when I get off clock. If I work up uh, two to ten evening shift, if I work two to ten, guess what? When I get off at ten, I gotta be I gotta be on here ready to go in an hour. And guess what? Two hour show. It's gotta be what it is. So I don't work two to ten or two to twelve. And then I gotta edit all my content and make it into videos and make it into TikTok. So I don't work two to ten. I work two to two. Then I gotta go to bed and get back up. I got to take advantage of all 16 hours that I got in a day, you know, for the eight hours I'm not sleeping. Right. So I got to work that two to 10, two to two. And then when I get my days off, you know, get to sleep in, I can. But that's just the beauty of it. And another thing about nine to fives is they do end at five. OK, not not literally, but you know what I mean? It normally ends after nine hours, eight hour shift, one hour lunch, depending on where you work. If you work in the nursing area, it's normally 12 hour shifts, 30 minute lunch two fifteen 15 minutes. But if you're a live streamer or a content creator, your day might not be a nine to five. Your day may very well be a nine to nine. 
It really depends on how hard you want to work. Now, there's sometimes there's only so much content you can make. There's only so much shit you can say about finances. You know, if you're in a certain niche, there's only so much you can do. Okay. So it may be wise to go ahead and get a job until you find a way to make YouTube more productive. And you got to go. And if you don't have a job or you're choosing to use this full time, you got to find a way to make that 16 hour you have as productive as you can. OK, instead of just saying, I'm just going to make one video today and I'm going to stop. OK, how do I make one video and then also help other people do finances? Maybe I can start a Patreon. Maybe I can start to um, do some consulting if you're an expert in what you do. And figure out a way to make that 16 hours as productive as possible. Listen, guys, and I understand it's very taxing to want to work that hard all the time. Live streaming is going to take a lot out of you. Content creation is going to take a lot out of you. One day you'll get to rest, but you really got to think about the long game. And if you think about the long game, you'll get your rest in. But if it's a fire burning in you and a passion, you'll want to work hard. It's not going to be hard for you to be like, I got I got to make videos. And when you need to take a mental break, take it. But you got to figure all that shit out. And it doesn't normally happen in the first six months of making live stream. And I, so I, I think what also where people get really fucking frustrated is that there are kids who can succeed. Okay, there are kids. There are kids who can hop on live stream which I, I don't believe in, but it happens. There are kids who can get on here at 15, 16, and in a year be making $10,000 a month. It's just, it is what it is. They make content that people, for some odd reason, which is weird, want to watch. Or they're very skillful in whatever they happen to do. Okay, there are people who are going to be 18, 19, 20, making six figures plus, making what you make twice. They may make it two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some people make nine figures doing content creation and they really out there like that. And they're young. And I know that gets frustrating. I'm an older man. I get how frustrating it is to be looking at some 20 year old who made a video, went viral, and now they've got 2.5 million followers over the 2.5 million subs over the next two, three years. And now they're making real banks. And now you see them with nice cars, nice houses, hanging out with celebrities, hanging out with this streamer. And you're like, what the fuck, man? I work every day at my nine to five and I ain't seeing nothing. Bro, that's the, that's the beauty of your nine to five. It really depends on where you're at. Obviously, if you're an engineer or other stuff like that, it's a different world. But once again, we're talking about just making average salary. If you work a job that's an average nine to five, brother, there's just no way you're ever going to get where those young people are. Or you're never going to get where the older people are. There's obviously people who are much older making a ton of money in content creation. If you want this life, you're going to have to work harder. It just is what it is. If you want to be up in that upper echelon of live streamers, such as myself, such as other people, I know. And, you know, it's, it's also very fucking frustrating to figure out how to do that, how to continue to make thumbnails, how to get over that hump of sometimes you have a really good video or you have a really good live stream or, you know, a, a live good live stream. And then try to figure out how do I make these numbers go up? And guys, it may take months for you to go from 100 views to 200 views of video. It may take months before you start seeing real things. Because even when you make one small tweak, it may take a while for it to take off. It's a very patient game. That's how it is, guys. But it depends on what the fuck you're in for this for. I already talked about this in a TikTok. Y'all already saw. Are you in it for the long game? If you're in it for the long haul then every little tweak you make will help you in the long run. You'll learn what to talk about, what not to talk about, how to talk about it, how to come up with ideas, how to do this shit. You'll figure it out. It just may take a while. And even when you do figure it out, it may take a while. At a nine to five, once again, when you clock in, money starts coming in immediately. Live streaming, no. YouTube, no. When you clock in, upload, you could get nothing. <laughs> You may put a lot of time in and get nothing. You may get all this shit that you see around me, get all this shit set up, put all this stuff together, try to make a studio, try to do this, try to do that, and not see any fucking returns. It just takes a while. And the other thing that's also difficult about content creation and live streaming, it's a, there's a bunch of fucking scammers out there, man. And what I mean by that, there are so many people that are going to take advantage of you wanting to make it so bad in live streaming, you're probably going to get fucked here or there, you know? You're going to pay for something. You're going to pay for a course. You're going to pay for somebody to show you how to make thumbnails. You're going to pay for somebody to show you how to do live streams. And there are great people out there, but there are a lot of people who are just going to take your money. They're going to tell you shit that you could have found out by watching a free YouTube video. Could have just did it that way. But there's always going to be somebody who's trying to sell you a dream. And you always have to learn how to get past that kind of shit and just be like, well, 
you know, I'm just going to go off the, uh, just going to go with the fucking win. And here's another thing. And the beautiful thing about live streaming in a nine to five that you may see in a nine to five, you may see one person get promoted and you don't. But that's your own little world in your nine to five. You're not going to be going out and be like, how the fuck did that motherfucker get uh, uh, raised up? And you're at McDonald's. You don't work at McDonald's. So it doesn't really affect you if you see somebody get promoted there, right? You're not going to care if somebody gets promoted at a grocery store. It's in your world that shit matters when you get promoted. But imagine being a live streamer or somebody who is a content creator and you finally got to wherever you're trying to get to, which is 100,000 subscribers, or maybe you're trying to get to 500 followers on Twitch or something. Imagine you finally get there and then somebody comes out of fucking left field making content similar to yours and blows right fucking past you. Or even worse, somebody's making content that is very low effort, but they made a video, something, and here, well, let's talk about it. Now, I'm not talking about any particular creator, but y'all seen these kind of titles. I'm 37 years old, and I don't have any friends. You've seen that, right? I'm 37. If you're 20, you need to watch this. If you're seeing this video... You, you're supposed to watch this. Hey, you should make a YouTube channel. You see titles like that in a thumbnail where their face is like, and it, the, the, the thumbnail is just a freeze frame that YouTube picked randomly as a thumbnail. And then, oh, bam, somehow they got 100,000 views off that. And you're like, what the fuck? I've been mean, sitting here making money. I mean, I mean, I've been sitting here making videos, editing, putting all this shit, getting all this equipment and all this shit. And somebody just makes a random video and says, hey, guys, here's what you should do to make videos. Um, you got to believe in yourself and you just got to keep going because the world doesn't really like you. But you got to let the world become your world. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, cool. Bam, that's 100,000 views. You're like, but here's the thing, guys. You got to go in for it for the long haul. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you do, there are going to be people that pass you sometimes when it comes to views and followers. But in the very long run, I promise you, if you really put in the work, really care about your craft, boy, it will come quickly. It will come fast and in a hurry. Okay? And you'll be able to spread it out forever. How many YouTubers, let's be honest, how many YouTubers, how many live streamers, how many TikTokers do you know blew up in, ye in five years you never saw them again? Because they try to recreate, they try to recreate this viral moment and it never happens again. They try to make that same video. How many times have you guys seen that? Somebody makes a video. Once again, let's just say starting a YouTube, you can make it. Two months later, starting in YouTube, part three. Two months later, starting in YouTube, part nine. They'll make that same video trying to get that same audience again, and it won't work again. There, so, guys, just don't be discouraged. And I'm not knocking anybody who makes content, but I don't really give a fuck. At the end of the day, there are some people who are better at making content than others. Some people are more creative than others, and the people who are more creative will stand out. And if you don't stand out, I'm talking to my fucking self. I think about this every day. If I don't stand out, that's on me. I don't sit here and bitch and complain about, oh my God, I mean, I wish, wish, wish I was a, a woman or I wish I was this tall guy or I wish I was good at games. I wish I was good at football. I wish I could just make that kind of content. I'm not here to bitch and complain. I'm here to just keep making content and keep getting better and keep networking with the people around me. And all I can do is get better. If I fail, it's on me. There's nobody I can blame. There's nobody going to be like, well, the YouTube hates me. I'm not doing that shit. And yeah, I'm sure there are people where YouTube does shadow ban their channel if YouTube doesn't like you. It does happen. I'm not going to make the excuse, though. If if at the end of the day, YouTube is secretly shadow banning me and I'll just never get the views, fuck it. I'm going to still try to push my content and still get as good as I can. I cannot control that. I cannot control a shadow ban. I won't complain. I'll just keep keep going and like i said this shit gets me shadow banned or something so, this is I, I don't believe i don't believe i'm shadow banned i'm not saying that i'm simply saying if that something out of my control happens and i'm never gonna make it i will do the best i can at my nine to five and work my ass off to get as far as that is and where whatever happens to me at the nine to five 
It'll be right here for you guys. And I'll be like, hey guys, it's been it's been seven years. I told you guys I was going to work my way up. Guess what? I'm blankety blank right now. Almost at the top. I'm an HR coordinator now, guys. And let me tell you, it's been a fucking ride. And I'll be right here, re still looking at videos, still giving you my advice, telling you guys how, you know, I allocate my money, how investments happen, how the broken shit happens. You know what I mean? How I started making money, how I got out of debt, how I rose my credit, how not to fail, how not to do what I did. Here's what I did. I could have got better, but I fucked up in this area. So it took me another year to get to where I wanted to get to, or it took me another two years. Or guys, hey, guys, like I, I was trying my best and I got demoted. That has happened on this channel. I got promoted and got demoted. It does fucking happen, but I keep coming back. And that's what I'm trying to say, guys. No matter what happens, if you want this content creation shit, give it like it, give it. I want you to give it like this paycheck is your life, man. Just give it like it matters to you. But I can't. And here's the thing. You can't force yourself to be passionate about this. If it's only for the money, it will get you. <clears throat> there you go. go. If you want to do this for just the money, you can get far. I'm not here to say that. There are some people who are so driven by money that they they can still become good at whatever they're doing and make a ton of money doing it. So if even if you're just in it for the money, go for it. Make as much as you can. Do I think that's going to last 20 years? No, I think you'll move on to something else that you feel like will make more money. But if you want to get on here and just make money, fucking go for it, man. I'm clapping for you. But for the us other people who are a little bit different, we're here for the money because I'm here for the money. Are you crazy? But some of us are here for the money, but we also enjoy the craft. We also enjoy how can I get better from this area in my life? to ultimately get wherever I want to get, which whatever that is for you. If you want to just be a big, huge live streamer so you can be at home with your children or be home with your family and be able to make content, go for that shit. Push as hard as you can to make sure that you never have to go back to a nine to five. You need to work on this fucking live streaming. Like if you don't put in effort as often as you can, I'm not saying every day we all need a mental break, but if you can get to the point where you put in effort as much as you possibly can, when your mind is right, you're good, which is 80% of the time, that 80% of the time where you're feeling good, you're healthy, life is going great, put that fucking work in. When the 10% comes and life sucks and it ain't going well for you, you might need to take a break in that 10%. And then that awful 10% where something happens in your family or something happens to one of your friends and it really takes you out the game, got to deal with that shit too. But that 80% of the time where things are at least going okay, if not great sometimes, that's when you need to put it on your effort because those days don't always come. Like I said, 20% of the time, that shit's probably not going to happen for you. You're going to have bad days and life's going to happen. But if that's what you're trying to get to, or it's like people such as myself, I'm trying to get to one day get to live content myself, meaning I also want to do public speaking, but you got to get yourself to that point. You got to have a reason for people to want to even listen to you publicly speak. So I know the better I get here at this craft and the better I get at making content and the better I understand this thing and that thing, business strategies and all that kind of shit, then I actually have something that people want to say, you know what? We want him to publicly speak for us because we believe he took something, which is he went from zero to however much money I'm making at that time, all through social media for the most part, you know, and that's what I want. And or it may be I'm a big time. I, I move up in a big ass company and I'm doing well there. And they're like, we want to hear him talk because at one point he was just a broke fat dude. And now he's a wealthy fat dude. You know what I'm saying? He's queso now. He's the black queso. <laughs> so you just got to do what you got to do. So, yeah. I think live streaming is harder than a nine to five because in order to make the same money you could at a nine to five, even if you're making minimum wage to make minimum wage in live streaming, it takes for fucking ever. And some things you have to have a break. Sometimes it's the people you meet, the people you talk to, but you're going to have to catch a break. It's just, you know, it just, and it might not happen for a while. Consistency is the only thing that's going to get you there, but you may have to be consistent for four years I don't know anybody who'd be like, man, <laughs> I want to do something for four years and not get paid a dying to do it. A dying. But I got to work like I'm getting paid. Hear me out. Awesome. Let me take my glasses off before I say it. When you, you should work live streaming. And I'm not talking about just your time because everybody has a limited amount of time. When you're not at your nine to five or not doing something that's bringing in income right now, Treat this like it's an extra job 
and you're getting paid well to do it. What would your content look like if you treated it like you got paid well? Because some people, they treat it like they don't get paid. And so they put in low effort. But, it, but just, and you know what? You may not know what it looks like yet, but ask yourself, huh? Because there's a lot of people who will always say, well, shit, if I got paid $10,000, I'd do it. I'd do this too. What kind of content would you make if you got paid $10,000 a month? Take the equipment shit out of it. I'm talking about it, the equipment you had. Everything you did with, with the camera you have, with the lighting you have right now. And somebody said, I'm willing to pay you $10,000 a month to make content. How hard would you work? What would your content look like, right? And you had to use the same equipment. Then make that kind of content. And then obviously you can improve. But make content as if you're being paid already. That way when the day does come and you're getting paid and you can reinvest back into the studio, it's going to come easy for you. Because you work like you're getting paid. That's just how it goes. And you may never make it. That is the harsh truth. I very well may never make it. I may be a year from now still sitting at 2,000 subscribers. It may be what it is. But I'm going to work like I got a million subscribers. What would my content look like if I had a million subscribers? Well, I'm going to try to make my videos look like I do got it. Because I have no idea what that feels like. So I might as well make it up in my head and then work like I got it. That's all you can do. I know there's some manifestation shit, but that's a little bit different. I'm not just sitting here waiting for it to happen. I'm going to have to act like it already happened and then keep pushing myself as hard as fucking possible. What else can I do? Sit here and bitch and complain that I don't got that many subs. I got to work and act like I got it already. That's what you can do with live streaming. But at the end of the day, to me, I think for you to make the same money you make again, this is this is my final point. For you to make that money that you make at your nine to five, try to do that with live streaming and you'll see how hard it truly is.